Hello again, everybody. Well, today we are up here on a December day, 2019, to take one of the last looks at the old incline cars because come early spring, in January or so, they are going to shut down, do maintenance, and they are going to be changing the cars out. So let's take a last look at the cars, shall we? As always, here's the steepest part. Now, I have just missed it, so we will have to wait for the next trip. Both of these cars were in 87. And you've got the gas heater at the end, so it keeps it nice and toasty during the winter. I was talking that gym in, and I thought you were just looking at it. Keep that for your church. Where do you want to sit? Say just here? Yeah, so that you don't have steps. Yeah. I'm going to have the whiskey when we go to the apartment, probably, but that's okay. And yes, the angle does look steep like it does because it makes it more comfortable to sit in. I was telling him I haven't been in this thing since I was 14 years old. Passenger Railway and America's most amazing mind. The incline will travel from an altitude of 2,100 feet above sea level at a speed of 600 feet per minute, nearly one mile straight down the face of the mountain to the Chattanooga Valley. The rate of the track at the steepest point is 72.7%, giving the lookout of the incline railway the unique distinction designed to offer the most fantastic view of Chattanooga, as well as the colorful foliage of the lush vegetation on the mountain. In spring, thousands of dogwoods bloom. Summer brings out the mountain laurel and rhododendron. And in the fall come the brilliant reds and yellows of the heart. The bright, crisp days of winter offer a view from the incline that is unparalleled in its beauty. The astrodome roof overhead allows you to see the horizon and surrounding countryside without having to move from your seat. The incline center rail is used by both cars going up and down the mountain. When we enter the passing switch and move past the other car coming up the mountain, we are exactly at the halfway point of our downward trip. As the incline descends historic Lookout Mountain, it will travel through the cities of Lookout Mountain and Chattanooga, as well as Hamilton County and the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Battlefield. Lookout Mountain part of the Appalachian chain is actually a plateau stretching 83 miles. Three miles of Lookout Mountain are in Tennessee, 35 miles in Georgia, and 45 in Alabama. For many years, one of our local artists had an arts and crafts show each fall at a place way out on the mountain that she named Plum Nelly because it was Plum out of Tennessee and Nelly out of Georgia. The first great natural ridge line visible ahead is Missionary Ridge where the last part of the Civil War's battle for Chattanooga was fought. It is said that when Missionary Ridge fell, this was truly the death blow to the Confederate States of America. Chattanooga was known as the gateway to the South because it was a major rail center and had natural passes through the mountains. Chattanooga became the staging point of the famous Battle of Atlanta 
immortalized here we are going up on wind. what used to be the halfway Doing stopping so, point the it actually stopped here for the people who lived here what is now they don't really stop here anymore park. though if you can the see the original house, which first served as a building, building. The and then the, and the metal, the metal rail all over the other side time. of the walkway is one of the landmarks there the park. is the famous the house was built by robert mountain in 1850 it's a great little gift store family for nearly 13 peaceful years However, on November 24, 1863, the first of many cannonballs fired from Union batteries began smashing into and around the house. The long-awaited Union Army attack on Lookout Mountain had begun. On March 3, 1893, the United States government, recognizing the historical significance of the Cravens' house, purchased it and the surrounding 85 acres of land. This was soon to be designated Battlefield Park. The park now holds many artifacts of the war, including parrot guns used by Confederate soldiers and monuments which stand as silent remembrances to those gallant men from both sides. At Point Park, you can see the New York Peace Monument. The memorial stands 95 feet tall and portrays both a Confederate and a Union soldier engaging in a handshake of friendship. As far as is known, this is the only Civil War monument honoring both armies on the same monument. Incline railways have played an important role in the historical development of Lookout Mountain. Here we are coming the first to the first incline was completed in 1887 as a means of travel to the city area the just below the point and of the mountain. Do occasionally, but in 1888, one hotel, a lavish so four-story inn with an uneven view, is going to go open to the public to at the top the of the first time. incline. The hotel was as splendid as the surrounding scenery. The ride in the incline was an exciting experience, with a trip to the top lasting over an hour. You're now riding in what is known as incline number two. The local man, John T. Crass, envisioned an incline that would be fast and inexpensive. In June 1895, Crass and several other investors applied for a charter forming the Lookout Mountain Incline and Lula Lake Railway Company. With the help of picks, shovels, dynamite, and about a thousand workers, the first cars began traveling up and down the mountain on November 16, 1895. Incline number two proved to be the answer to the transportation needs of the mountain. In a century of operation, 40 million passenger trips have been taken on the incline. The incline is a National Historic Site and a National Historic Mechanical Engineering Landmark. If time permits, Plan a trip to the headquarters of the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Park, where the battle for Chickamauga took place on September 18th and 19th in 1863. It is considered by many to have been the bloodiest battle of the Civil War, with 34,000 casualties. At the park, there's an audio-visual presentation on the battle. In addition, one of the world's finest yeah, shoulder arms collection, the Fuller Gun Collection, valued at approximately $30 million, is on display at the park headquarters. We hope that you enjoy your ride. While in the area, you may want to visit many of the other places of interest here, and especially on Lookout Mountain. We recommend visiting spectacular Ruby Falls, beautiful Rock City Gardens, and the Battles for Chattanooga Electric Mount and Museum on Lookout Mountain. In the downtown area, you will enjoy the Chattanooga Choo Choo, cruising on the Southern Bell River Boat, exploring the Tennessee Aquarium, the Creative Discovery Museum, and the IMAX Theater. When you reach the lower station, take your time and enjoy the incline. There are many unique shops in the historic district of St. Elmo within easy walking distance. Have a pleasant stay in Chattanooga. If there's anything we may do to assist you, please let us know.
Yeah, we'll go down. Oh, yeah. So, do we just want to go back up? Do we stay in this, in this car? You can. Everyone will exit, and uh, the next one's not going back for another 15 minutes. So, yeah, but you can stay out here. Because we won't leave till 4 o'clock. We might. We might get up and find somewhere to get a lot of work. I'd like to ask everyone to please remain seated till we come to a complete stop. For those of you heading back up to our top station, these cars are leaving out of here about every half hour. But feel free to catch any car back up top you like up until 540 this evening. We'll exit back here to your left. You just got to go down the steps. Back around to your left to get back in line to get back on. And I'd like to thank you all for riding with us today. For you Chattanooga people, or at least Chattanooga area, you can recognize that, although he's missing the kid. That was a Kay's Castles back in the day. Is a little special thing. If you look underneath, you can see the racks where the old gas used to be, and you can see some of the uh, some of the safety gear. much from this side because of the bushes but The car in which you're riding was installed in March 1987. The car is steel and was especially built for the incline at an 18 degree angle. Each car is 42 feet long and weighs 12 tons. Two one and a quarter inch wire cables carry the incline cars up and down the mountain. You should feel more comfortable about your ride knowing that the cables have a combined strength of 142 tons. The cables are fastened underneath one car, wound around huge drums in the machine room at the top of the mountain, and connected underneath the other car, so that the two cars operate like weights on a pulley. When one car goes up, the other car comes down. The entire cable system is changed every three years. Other safety features include an Otis elevator safety gun, which automatically locks the cars down when the speed goes above 10 miles per hour. The giant automatic brake in the incline's machine room, which will lock down the cars in case of a power failure. And manual brakes for use by the operators. In recognition of the incline's historically significant role and unique mechanical design, in 1974 it was designated a National Historic Site by the United States Department of the Interior. In 1911, the coal burning engines were converted to an electrical system. Today, the two 120 horsepower motors, huge drum gears, and other operating machinery provide power. 
Part of the Appalachian chain, as are the Great Smoky Mountains. Lookout Mountain is the southernmost mountain. We will be coming up to a rail marker. I can't remember if it shows incline railway or not, but it does have an RW on it. Anybody knows, please, please chip in later. You didn't marry me. The of the track at the steepest point near the top is 72.7%. There's what they're going to be working on this spring, a retaining wall to help keep the water away. For a breathtaking view of the Chattanooga Valley. On a clear day, land of visit, we are at the halfway point of the city of Three Blocks. Point Park is part of the chicken run in Chattanooga. Here is the Lone Railway marker. When General Grant was on the government in 1860, it took him nearly four hours of very rough roads to reach the top. HLRW area discovers Not sure. it's worth the effort. Today, the incline railway takes riders almost a mile straight up the face of Lookout Mountain in about 10 minutes. Whoa. You Well, folks, that's all there is. Hope you've enjoyed our last look at the 1987 incline cars. Can't wait to see what the new ones look like. So I will see you guys soon, hopefully, with a new video of the new cars come February or so. As always, I'm off to go on some more journeys. Until then, why don't you go on some journeys of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.